Today we're gonna go over the fastest install that I have done and how I did it. Now if you follow this channel closely then you probably have an idea but stick around check this out. It was actually a really fun day because I love what I do. I love helium mining and if you're new to helium mining definitely be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and anyone who follows this channel you guys know that we have superior installations all over the board and uh, it's really not that complicated to do. I make all the installs so that way your average person can do these installs. You don't need to be in a high tower living on a high rise and you don't need access to some uh, crazy expensive cell tower now for those of you who have not seen our universal setup this is exactly why I was able to make this installation so fast so I'm gonna put the video right here so you can go ahead and watch that video it will help you recreate this scenario over and over and really just give you a really super simple easy setup to do for all of your helium installs now you don't have to follow it to the T but it gives you an example a foundation on how to build all of your helium hotspots uh, outdoor enclosures and again I will be updating uh, my installs and my tips and tricks that I do uh, to make mine as easy and as really just as practical as possible now guys down below I do have links for everything that I use so thank you so much for using those in advance I sincerely appreciate that sometimes you guys ask me how do I get uh, so many locations so how do I have so many miners I honestly don't have that many miners there's people that have literally 10 times more miners than I do I just posted a video recently about how to get uh, more hosts and how to really communicate with your host so if you're interested in something like that especially if you're thinking about uh, making this into a legit business watch this video right here it is so good uh, in my opinion I mean obviously I made it so but um, it would help you out and answer any kind of question you have related to expanding and growing this helium business and it will kind of just give you an idea if you really want to go into the business route yeah so check that video out hope you like it now this is a quick screenshot of 24 hours after the installation the reason for this such a big jump in percentages is because it was doing absolutely nothing for about two weeks now I hope you guys enjoy this video as much as I enjoy doing the whole process of it so with that being said let's get the ball rolling with a quick intro so today I rented a ladder from Home Depot I, it barely fits in my car this is ridiculous look how squished I am in this car but you know what we needed a ladder today and uh, he didn't have a ladder I didn't have a ladder that shrinks down so I had to rent this out and this is what's going on but Jesus I need a truck or something. So I got the ladder right here and I got the antenna right here, ready to go. So as soon as I get there, it's already set up. I just have to do is like literally just staple it to the roof. Not actual staples, but I'm gonna have to screw it down to the roof and we should be good to go. Besides, of course, the cable runs, uh, but that should be it. So we'll see how fast I can do this. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take out this ethernet cable. This is what the final product looks like. Uh, but since I need to install this, I need to take out the ethernet cable and then route it through the router. I just find this being the easiest way, uh, but you totally could install the ethernet cable last. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go inside the home. I've already found where the router is, and then I'm going to basically just run it power over ethernet setup. The router is located in the closet upstairs, which makes it very practical and super easy. And just over my shoulder here, up into the right of the closet, there's actually a hole that leads right into the attic. Now somehow my video got deleted and I can't show that, but I was able to run the ethernet cable from there into the router and then into the attic. And all I had to do after that was just organize the cable and just move it around the structure of the attic. And then over my head, there's a air vent that leads to the outside. And this is actually one of my favorite parts because I was able to use the natural openings of the vent to just push this cable right through the vent. And therefore it allowed me to not create any holes and create any risk and liability of any kind of uh, roof leaks and attic leaks, just things that I would love to avoid. So that was really awesome. That's something you can look at to see if you have that in your attic. So then all I did was make sure that I pushed the cable just far enough so I can reach it on the outside. And this is what it looks like from the outside. So it ended up being right next to where I was gonna put the antenna. And I was gonna put the antenna on this chimney right here. Now, now to place my enclosure on the chimney, I'm gonna have to use these clamps right here. These will allow me to secure the pole onto the chimney so that way it doesn't wobble and move around. Now this is the part that I'm holding right now that's gonna be secured down to the chimney. And then all I have to do now is just go up there. Now, to show what I'm actually working with, this is the horizon. I can see over every tree in just about every single house here. So I think it's gonna do pretty well on this chimney right here. And then I'm going to verify that the ethernet, once it's plugged in, I get the power light on my Bobcat. So make sure you do this after you've installed the antenna cable and then make sure you're good to go before you see the little up. To ground the antenna, I use the same cable path as the ethernet from the vent down to the attic. And then look at this dude here. What is this guy doing? Now, taking a moment to enjoy this view, I used an AWI antenna, three foot LMR 400 cable, and I got this from Rockland. So everything that I used for this video will be linked down below in the description. So I hope this helps. And now for the finished product. Do what you wanna do. <laughs> So here is the antenna that is on. Uh, it's making about 0. 
three, four right now in a 24 hour period. Now it's only been online for like two to three days, but we've already have 71 witnesses just in two days. And I do expect it to just climb a little bit higher, maybe not too much. At the time of this video, it is March 16th and the price of HNT is at $22. So now at the current rate of this video, if we maintain here uh, with these earnings, then we're looking at about $220 per month in HNT. Um, I do hope and probably expect it to go up just a little bit more because it is day two and it could probably catch a little bit more of the witnesses. And not to mention guys, uh, this is something I talk about in my other videos is I purposely uh, put my antennas in areas where there's development going on. So uh, all of this used to not be here. I mean, I have an antenna over here and I was like the second antenna. And then after that, all of these started popping up. So uh, that keeps my antennas earning pretty well, pretty high. And uh, people try to comment sometimes on the, on the channel, be like, oh, how much are you earning now? I bet you like 0 0.05. And like, you know, not to brag or anything, but if you're just smart about it and you don't try to, um, you know, you don't try to start a helium mining business starting off over here, then you could probably keep your profits high. Let me know if you guys have any questions or concerns, or maybe you guys want to share your installs with me. Uh, I will put the link down below in a discord uh, for the discord so you guys can join. So I hope to see you guys down there. I'll see you guys next time. Yeah.